at any time when working on a project, you can move over to the Visio interface and continue to build this bill of materials as you do your drawings or drag over products that are already in this project over to the drawing pages. So to do that, I'm going to close the project file. Um, you're going to be prompted to check in the project file. In this case, choose No, and the project file will display here in the grid. And uh, what we'll do now is click Visio, New Visio, and then you're going to select a template. In this case, I'm going to choose uh, 17 by 11. Um, you can check this box to populate company logo on the title block, and that will automatically fill in um, the upper right corner with your logo on the Visio pages. Choose OK, and this will open in the Visio interface. If this is your first time doing this, you will be prompted to download the DTools library of stencils. Go ahead and allow it to do that. This is the Visio interface for SI, and down at the bottom, you'll notice these tabs that have line diagram, elevation view, plan view, and schematic view displayed on them, and those represent the four types of or styles of pages that we do inside of Visio. Now, um, we'll start with a line diagram. If you pull up your project editor here, this is the bill of materials that we were just working on, and you can choose to drag over any one of these products to this drawing page. On the line diagram page, the shapes that will drop will be the JPEG images for the products. This will give you the ability to create a nice sales um, drawing that you can present when presenting your proposal. As you can see, the JPEGs or the thumbnails for each one of these products is what displays here. And because they are JPEGs, they are resizable. And here's a finished example of a line diagram. The elevation view page is another style of Visio drawing that we do. If you pull up your project editor and select, say, those same three items and drag them over to this page, what you're going to get are scaled representations of those products. Here we see two speakers, and here we see a display device. And this is reading the dimensions of the products inside of your catalog. So if you double click one of these, just to show that on the specifications tab, the software is reading the height and width here and populating a shape to scale. And here's an example of a finished elevation page. And as you can see, this is this page style where you would do rack elevations. The plan view tab is intended to show an overhead view of the project. So this is where you would insert a floor plan or draw a floor plan and then drag over products that will have simple icon representations. So for example, if I pull over these two speakers and zoom in, you will see that there's a simple icon here to represent uh, the speaker and the speaker, each uniquely labeled. And here's an example of a finished plan style page where there's been an AutoCAD file that was inserted as a uh, background here, if you will, and our icons were dropped over on top of that to represent placement of speakers, keypads, touch panels, and so forth. The final style that you can create is a schematic view page, and this lists the inputs and outputs for the devices and is intended for making wire connections. So from the project editor, I'm going to pull over two components and a HDMI cable, drag those over. You'll see that the shapes that drop here will have the inputs and outputs listed, and then there you'll see the wire shape. And we can go ahead and move these around and make wire connections between the two devices. So in this case, we'll pull this one down, connect that to uh, an HDMI out, and we'll take it over here and attach it to an HDMI in. And that's how you would create a wiring schematic inside of the software. And here is a, an example of a finished schematic drawing. And uh, that is the drawing interface for SI 